my lovelies. My name is Jessica and welcome to Makeup Misfit and welcome to day three of a very merry Jessmas. I'm literally sitting in my tree because I've got nothing else over here. Um, so I apologize. Move this down a little bit. So for today's video, I am doing a tag video, which I'm really excited about doing. So this one is called the Colorful Makeup Tag and this is by Anya, I believe. Now, she will be linked down below if I can, um, but I watched all of the tag videos that I'm gonna be doing from DW, who is Dub's Beauty Diary, so she will also be linked down below. Uh, she's, like I said, where I watch these videos from, where I got the questions from, because I hand wrote them all out and everything, so I do have the questions in front of me, so if I'm looking down, it's just to read off the questions. Um, and there's nine of them, so let's get into question number one. So first question is when and why did you start using color? I don't know why, um, but when was like pretty much when I first started wearing makeup. So for my 16th birthday, my aunt took me to go get my makeup done and I did a, I had to do a pink look and probably because pink was my favorite color, always has been, and I just didn't know anything about makeup. So I think I just chose a color that I really liked and kind of went with it. Um, after that, I really wasn't really, I really wasn't wearing makeup too, too much. Um, but when I did start to wear it a little bit more, I remember having this little CoverGirl trio. I don't know the name of it, but it had a yellow, a blue, and a green in it. And I wore that all the time. I was working at the restaurant the at the time, and I remember wearing it um, pretty consistently. So I was probably about 17, 18 years old. And I ended up falling out with color wore neutrals for the longest time and then got back into color. I'd probably wear it like sporadically. I remember like trying to do pink looks for my birthday, um, but I wasn't really like reaching for color all of the time up until the last four years maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. I'm not even quite sure anymore. Um, again, don't know why, but I was probably getting tired and wanting to like try different things and not just wear neutrals all the time because as much as I do still enjoy neutrals I love them um color just gives you more variety more things to play with more looks to create more uh different ways to like do the same look but so many different colors to choose from that you're not always going to get the same thing so maybe that's why Number two is what is your favorite color to wear? Now, if you watch my channel, you know I wear a lot of mauves. Um, so that's probably my favorite color. But I think it kind of depends on where I'm at, what I'm feeling at the time, my mood, um, what phase I might be in. Last year, I loved corals. I still enjoy corals, but last year I was all about the corals. This year, not so much. Last year, I still wore a lot of mauves, but I was getting so burnt out on them. This year, I've been fine. So I really do think that overall, I enjoy mauves. They are like a colorful neutral. Maybe that's why, I don't know, but I really just love the color as an aesthetic. I love how it looks on me. I just enjoy wearing it. So I reach for that, tend to reach for that more often than not, I think. So that's just kind of my, one of my favorites anyway. Number three is what is your go-to colorful combination? Now, it's not necessarily a go-to, but I absolutely love this combination. I have since the first time I wore it. I don't wear it very often and that's why it's not my go-to, but sometimes if I'm stuck, or if I just happen to remember, I get excited and I wanna wear it and it is pink and yellow. Just those two. I do pink in the outer corner, yellow on the inner, blend them together in the center and it creates a lovely like orange-ish kind of color. And of course it depends on the type of shades you're using, the brightness, the pastelliness of them. Um, when I first did this was with my Lunar Beauty Life's a Jag palette, the original. I fell in love with it. I don't know what sparked me to use the pink and yellow together and just those two, but when I did, I knew that was it. And still to this day, I love the combination as much as the first time I wore it. Another palette that I really like wearing it with is my Pastel Dreams palette from Gimme Glow. It's so pretty. Um, 
it really doesn't matter. Like I did it the last time I did it. So it's been a while was my glam light and my Kayla palette. I wore the pink and yellow. So to me, it doesn't matter what palette. It doesn't matter the brightness of the shade or if it's a little more faded or light. Like I just enjoy that combination. Um, but because it, I haven't worn it in a while, it's not technically my go-to, but when I do wear it, I try to wear it for a little bit to kind of get like my love for it used up a little bit. Um, but that's, that's what I would go for with that one. Number four, who are your favorite influencers to follow that inspire you color wise? So two come to mind. You may know them both or at least one of them. Um, but first and foremost is Angelica. Oh my God. I wanted to say something else. Angelica Neekfist, her colorful looks. I love them. Like just seeing them on her eyes. I love them so much. I wish I could pull off the looks that she does. I know when I see her blue and yellow or blue and green ones, I'm like, there's no way I don't think I'd ever be comfortable wearing a blue and green look, but just seeing them on her, I wish I could recreate those looks or that I had the comfort to do it or that I would enjoy it. Um, but the other is Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. And again, even though our styles are different, I like watching her like three looks, one palette videos when she reviews a new palette. Because there's been a couple of palettes that I've been a little bit iffy about, but watching her create some of the looks has been like made me want to buy those palettes because they're looks that I feel like I could recreate. Not all of them, but some of them. I feel like I'd be able to recreate those looks. So I would really enjoy trying to create the look that she did. So those two ladies are the two that come to mind when it comes to color wise or color inspiration. Number five, what do your family slash friends think? <coughs> oh, sorry. My goodness. What do your family slash friends think of your colorful makeup style? At this point, they're used to it. They don't care anymore. Not that they really cared before, but like I said, when I first started wearing makeup, I was wearing color, but it was light color. Um, I fell out of that, wore neutrals for the longest time, and it's just been recently that I've been getting back into makeup or makeup, color makeup. But when I do wear color, like now opposed to way back then, I've been experimenting with color more than I used to. So like instead of just doing a pop in the inner corner or a little bit on the lower lash line or however I might do it, it's like a full on color look sometimes. So those looks at first, I'm sure they were a little like, what are you doing? Because you don't wear color like that. But now they don't care. I wear what I wear. They're used to it. They don't care. It is what it is. What are you going to do? Number six. This one's an interesting one. So this one is, is there a color that you're looking for a perfect formula with? I'm going to go with no, because I'm not like intense when it comes to formulas. Yes, I have a bunch of different formulas in my collection. Some I obviously enjoy more than others, but there isn't a formula that I can think of. And even if I sat here and tried, tried to actually think of something, I don't think I could. There isn't a formula in my collection that I am so head over heels in love with where I'm like, I need this color in this formula. I really enjoy a lot of the formulas in my collection, but I don't think there's something that I'm like, I'm missing this color in this formula. Um, plus, I just play around with so many different things all the time, like with my projects and stuff like that, my panning projects. I just don't tend to th to think as I'm using them that I need a certain color in this specific formula. Um, or if I do have a color that I really enjoy that I wish it was in a specific formula um, that I have in my collection. So nothing that comes to mind. Don't know if I'd be able to think of anything. It would definitely be like research um, to sit down with all of my makeup and go through them and see what formula I like the best and what colors I wish I had in it or what colors I really enjoy that I don't have in a formula I enjoy. So for now, I'm going to go with no for that one. Number seven, would you rather wear a neutral lip and colorful eyeshadow or a colorful lip and neutral eyeshadow for the rest of your life? Um, so this one, <laughs> I don't wear like colorful lips. My colorful lips are, uh, red. Other than that, I wear neutral. Like I wear like mauve toned or sometimes like pink tone, but not very much, uh, pink. It's more so mauve. 
which I consider for my lips, I consider neutral. For my eyes, I consider it color. It's a colorful neutral or a neutral color, whatever you want to look at it. But I don't wear like orange lips or purple lips or green lips. And I don't think I'd ever be comfortable doing that. Even though every time I wear a red lip, which isn't all that often, but when I do, it's always a neutral eye. It's always going to be a brown eye, which I absolutely love that look. A neutral eye with a red lip, I think is beautiful. But I don't think I could do that for the rest of my life, every single day. I wear makeup seven days a week. I don't think I could do a red lip and a neutral eye for the rest of my life. But I could do a neutral lip and a colorful eye for the rest of my life because even if I do a... A little bit of blue or a little bit of green or yellow or pink or mauve and I just like the lipstick that I'm wearing is pretty much my daily lipstick it's what I'm working through right now it's back talk by urban decay to me it's a neutral it's a little bit mauvey but it's a neutral to me so it's like this is what I wear for the most part so like I feel comfortable wearing colorful eyes with this opposed to wearing a red lip every single day and a neutral eye look so I'll definitely have to go with the neutral lip and the colorful eyes. <clears throat> Number eight, we're almost there. What is your opinion on glitter? Love it, hate it, why? Honestly, I don't really have an opinion. Like I know people hate it and I know some people really enjoy wearing it. People hate it for specific reasons. People love, love it for other reasons. I don't wear it. I have some pressed glitters in my collection, not a whole lot though. Probably more than I thought I did, um, but not enough for me to like hate the amount that I have. I don't wear them. I don't gravitate towards them. Never really have. I've never like understood wearing them. I know there's the whole like environmental part on it. I'm not getting into that. This is just more or less like me wearing it, whether I like it or not. And I don't really think so. I remember, so I have the Huda New Nudes palette. I remember when that came out and I went to Sephora and I kind of swatched it and I swatched the glitter and I like just didn't understand it. Um, and I don't wear the base that I probably should for it. I feel like it's just some extra work, but if I wanted to wear it, I would. So it's just kind of like, I haven't gravitated towards it, but maybe that'll change and maybe I'll want to wear it at one point. Who knows? Right now, I just don't really have like a full opinion on it and... It is what it is. Number nine, what is your go-to colorful palette at the moment? So right now I don't have a colorful go-to palette because I just pretty much wear whatever um, shadows I have pulled into my panning projects and I'm rotating and playing with those. Even though some of those have ended, I'm just reaching for whatever. So I don't have a go-to colorful palette at the moment, but I do have a colorful palette that I adore that is my Gimme Glow Pastel Genius palette. That palette, I have literally worn all 12 shades at one time. And I more often than not, when I reach for that palette, wear all 12 shades at one time instead of picking, you know, just the pink and the yellow or the blue or whatever it might be. I put three shades on one eye, three shades on the other. Usually it's the pink, yellow, and orange or the peach on one and the purple, green, and blue on the other. I put the mattes in the crease. I put those shimmers on the lid because it's matching shimmers to matte. So there's a pink matte and a pink shimmer, yellow matte, yellow shimmer, and so forth. And I literally have like three shades on one eye, three shades on the other, all 12 shades are used. And that is the only palette. Yeah, it's the only palette in my collection that I have ever done that with. And that is pretty much more often than not, like a good like nine, 80% of the time that I wear that palette, that's how I wear it, all 12 shades. I love it, I adore it from the moment I saw it up until now. It is a palette I should break out though because I do kind of miss it. Now that I think about it, I haven't worn it in a long time and I do miss it. I really love that palette. Maybe I'll have to pull it out for one of these very merry Jessmas days. Let me know if there's something you would like to see me do with that palette. <clears throat> and I will definitely try because I have some time to, or days that I need to fill, I will try and figure out how I can work that palette into one of these 31 days. So let me know some ideas down below that you would be interested in seeing. Um, but that is definitely like my, one of my favorite colorful palettes of all time. 
So that is it for this tag. This is the Colorful Makeup Tag by Anya. As I think I mentioned in the beginning, she'll be down or linked in the description box. Um, I don't think I mentioned, I do have to edit on my phone, which I hate doing. So if I've been able to, you would have already seen the questions pop up on the screen as I go through them. If not, the questions are also going to be down in the description box. Whether they're on the screen or not, the questions are always going to be down in the description box. So let me know, you guys. I'm so curious to see what your answers are to these. So if you are doing this tag, feel free to, to do this. I would be so curious to see what your answers are. If you don't want to film a video and do this, please just answer them down in the comments because I would love to see what you guys have to say about this. And I think that these tag videos are a whole lot of fun. So there's definitely a few more that will be coming up over the next few days or so over the next month. So stay tuned. So that is it for day three of Very Merry Justmas. And we are moving on to day four. See you guys later. Bye.